Welcome to the video. This is Marvin from Nova. Today, we're going to explore a groundbreaking new feature of Typhon Wallet, Warp Transactions. Buckle up, this is going to be a thrilling ride. Now, before I show you how this works, let's address a common pain point for many Cardano users, and that is the need to send a minimum ADA amount alongside your tokens. It's a necessary measure to safeguard the chain from potential threats, but it can be a tad inconvenient, right? Imagine being able to send tokens without that extra ADA. Sounds like magic? Well, in a way it is. Warp Transaction is a pure UTXO transaction that leverages Cardano's multi-signature capabilities. Both the sender and the receiver play a part in it. The sender initiates, and the receiver signs to accept the incoming tokens. In essence, Typhon cleverly uses UTXOs from the receiver's wallet to cover that minimum ADA requirement. So, the sender doesn't have to spend that extra ADA. And yes, the receiver needs a little balance in their wallet for this to work. And the best part? No smart contracts involved. It's all on-chain, and Typhon Wallet orchestrates this seamlessly. So there you have it. Now let's walk you through the entire process step by step. But for now, if you're as excited about this as I am, please do give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to support our work. To initiate a warp transaction, navigate to the warp transaction section and enable the feature. I'd recommend skimming through the official Medium article about this process before proceeding. As you can see, the procedure is straightforward. The first step involves adding the tokens, which can be either non-fungible or fungible. Next, input the recipient's address. A word of caution, while you can add as many tokens as a standard transaction permits, the recipient must have some ADA in their wallet. This is to account for the minimum ADA amount that needs to accompany the tokens. Now, hit Warp to review and sign the transaction. You'll notice that only the standard transaction fees apply here. The Warp transaction is now set up and awaits the recipient's signature within the next 24 hours. A notable feature of this transaction type is the sender's ability to cancel it before the recipient signs off. You might spot a minor portion of your ADA being held while this transaction is pending and unsigned by the other party. This is a standard protocol behavior. Rest assured the ADA will be freed up once the recipient signs the transaction. Switching over to the recipient's wallet, you'll spot a pending transaction under the warp section. The recipient has the choice to review, reject, or accept the transaction. If they opt for approval, a signature is required. Once the warp transaction receives signatures from both parties, it transitions into a Cardano mempool. It will then appear as pending in the transaction overview until the protocol validates it. Upon completion, the recipient can view their newly acquired tokens in the Asset section. Revisiting the sender's wallet, you'll observe that the previously held ADA has been released and the tokens dispatched. On a side note, the Typhon wallet has undergone significant enhancements. It now includes a full transaction history, sortable by date, and downloadable in a CSV format. Furthermore, Typhon no longer distinguishes between an HD and a single address wallet, managing both with ease. This means that with Typhon, you can now restore any Cardano wallet. If this video has added value to you and you would like to stake too, feel free to come on board. Follow us on Twitter for the latest news about Cardano and our pool. See you in the next epoch.